Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on fundamentals of cloud computing. In this video, we are going to look into five practical use cases of virtual machines which each one of us can apply and relate to. Number one, developing an application for a different platform than the one you're currently using. Let's say you're using Windows platform on your current machine and you are required to develop a software for Linux. In this case, you need to have two systems, one with Windows operating system and the other with Linux. Moving the installer files back and forth to test computers is a hassle, isn't it? By using a virtual machine, you are simplifying this process to a great extent. You can create a virtual machine with Linux operating system on your Windows machine and develop your software and test it too. Without virtualization, Operating multiple systems like Windows and Linux would require two physical units. Number two, clone a system into a different machine. So let's understand this. The entire contents of virtual machine are stored in the form of few files. It is easily possible to transfer these files into another machine and load the virtual machine by using the same hypervisor. We will be discussing more about the hypervisor in our next video. Number three, handle malware. By now we understand that the main advantage of using a virtual machine is that it can be isolated from your main system. So if you want to download and test a software and you're not sure if it is secure, you could use a virtual machine to do this without risking your computer. Number four, virtual machine snapshots. An amazing feature of virtual machine is that you can create system level snapshots and restore whenever needed. For example, consider a scenario where something went wrong with your system that was working completely fine a week ago. By using virtual machine monitors, you can take a snapshot which is a complete copy of the system at any point in time. If something goes wrong, you can restore the snapshot and move on like nothing happened. Number five. Run an incompatible software. Now, let's say you're currently using Windows 10 and you want to run a piece of software that is compatible only with older versions of Windows. By using virtual machines, you can create an environment for running the software that is not compatible with your current machine. We have discussed five practical use cases here. However, there are so many more. Virtualization can increase flexibility and scalability while creating significant cost savings. I hope that now you got an idea about some of the practical use cases of virtual machines and a better understanding of why they save a lot of time and effort. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for further updates from this channel.